I've opened another example and this is one showing the storm drain inlets that the software can model. Here we have a roadway and the drainage area associated to that and a curb and gutter and then the sewer pipe underneath. So we can take a look at what these inlets are. I'll double click on an inlet and you can see it shows us a representation of what that inlet is and we have different inlet types we can choose from so we can choose the Federal Highway generic inlet types we can also give it a capture curve. We also have the Nina Foundry built in and of course you can create your own custom ones. But anyways if we just look at this we can choose a combination inlet, a curb opening, graded inlet on rectangular or circular, a median and ditch inlet, there's a variety of different inlet types that are available. We can enter what the various parameters are for this and then we run the analysis while well, you see the results represented in all of our input dialogs. Let's just go to quick do a quick run through. And there's our simulation results. And then so this is an inlet on SAG. So it's just going to pond water up and then eventually the, it will dissipate that discharge. But we can go and take a look at this inlet. We'll double click on it. And it tells us what our results are. We can see the peak flow during that analysis how much was intercepted at that inlet, how much is then bypassing it, what is its efficiency, and what was the gutter spread at during that peak time. If we want to see more detail about this specific inlet, we can click on the little more button and it'll show us a little capture curve representing what's happening at that particular inlet if we want that level of detail. What's nice about our dialogues is you can park these off to the side and then you can continue to use the software and pan about and take a look at other inlets and see if you have any that are failing and you can see this one the gutter spread was greater than an allowable limit that we have specified in a configuration parameter and so we can see which ones are not meeting our requirements or if we wanted to take it right into Excel we can click on the little report button and there's your results in Microsoft Excel all of your input data as well as all of your output data.